Next up, Venice. Yay! We have arrived in Venice and we're on a water taxi. Best way to ride in Venice. It's so incredibly exciting to be back here. Can't wait, we're just coming up to our hotel now. Very, very shortly. And here's Palazzo Venart, our hotel for our stay. We have arrived at our hotel. So time for a little room tour. Here we go. We're in the Marco Polo room here at Palazzo Venart in Venice. And look at this room, you guys. Admittedly, unusual for us. Well, sometimes we do splash out on a bit of a, a luxury um, room when we are away. And Venice, it's a good place to do that. So look at the ceiling here, you guys. How stunning is that? So let's have a look. There's our bed, small cabinets, the wardrobe. There's our luggage, which has just arrived. A little place where we can sit and write if we want. Lovely. And over here, we've had a little welcome fruit from the uh, hotel which is really lovely it's always a nice touch then we've got a uh, coffee facility water in here we've got our little mini bar which may <laughs> come in handy at some point there you go hi guys um yeah so that's the room it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I'm so excited. Right, wardrobe space. And here's the bathroom. It's, uh, yeah, it's a good size. Shower, bathtub. Maybe the only downside there is it's a bathtub rather than a walk-in shower. But we are not going to be picky, you guys. Uh, the robes. So you can see here, that's the name. Palazzo Venart. Hotel Venezia. So this is our room. Our Venice adventures begins. And I'm so excited, as I'm sure you can hear. Uh, this is my fourth time in Venice. It's my husband's third time. And we are going to make every minute count. So there you go, you guys. This is the room. This is me in Venice. Very excited, very excited to be back. And this is one of the areas where you can just sit down and relax and have a little chat. How opulent is this palazzo? Wow. Good morning, guys, from Venezia. Um, so, yeah, outfit of the day, trying to be practical, so I've layered up. Uh, I'm carrying my Saint Laurent Lulu bag in kind of a burgundy. It's a bit dark in here, so you may not be able to see it. Um, then I've got my wonderful Fendi scarf, which I absolutely love. A little cape type number, which I got in Denmark recently. A waterproof jacket, because the weather is a bit temperamental. And then a nice little dress here because we are going to celebrate my husband's birthday today in Venice. So really, really a special day for us. Yeah, and uh, we've had a most fantastic night's sleep here in our beautiful Palazzo Venart in Venice and breakfast was wonderful too. So we are now off to St. Mark's Square, walking around, having a look and see what we see. Right, 
We're headed into the fish market here in Venice. And if I could transcend the uh, smell, it is certainly very fishy. Here we go. It's the fish market. Look at these fish. So we are here next to the Grand Canal in Venice. There's a gondola passing. And look at the beautiful palazzos. It's a little bit windy today, but at least it's not raining. So we are feeling blessed that it's not raining at all as yet. Fingers crossed. Uh, and the sun is peeking out just ever so slightly. Behind me is the fish market there, which we visited just a minute ago. And then you can hear the bustling of the Grand Canal. It's so wonderful here, baby. So wonderful here. You can see here we have got a bit of a high water situation which we haven't actually seen before here in Venice. We've got some lovely gondolas coming but if you look here see how the water is really high at the minute. So view from the Rialto bridge so you've got like little shops along each side of the bridge and that's down to the market where we just went. It's mainly sort of touristy shops and jewelry shops. This is the other side. And this is the Grand Canal. It's quite busy. Let's just go down this little alleyway and see where it takes us. <laughs> it could be. Looks like a spot where you can get onto a gondola. Birthday surprise! It's good to see it in a different. Um, yeah, it's from a different perspective, different isn't perspective, it, babe? Yeah. Nabudanka Livio, Babu. Nabudanka Livio. Birthday gondola ride. Happy birthday to babes. <laughs> yeah. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Yeah.
time to check out the shops and there are so many of them so yeah again let's get lost looking at the shops just like in florence there are quite a lot of handbag shops um, with different leather goods all kind of replicating some of our well-known designer brands so yeah plenty of those and of course venice is synonymous with glass murano glass being the best and there are shop after shop after shop selling glass items and they are all so beautiful These particular bags really caught my eye. The shape was so geometric and the colors absolutely stunning. They had some really beautiful earrings as well. I will try and link uh, their shop below if I can find it. So you can see what the prices are and what other goodies the shop might have. When in Venice, you have to check out the masks. Look at the white one. They're all really quite beautiful. Now, if I was going to get a mask, I would get a cat one. Yeah, exactly. Right. So here we have Fendi in Venice. I'm not going to go in, you guys. I'm just going to do a little bit of footage from the window, I think. Because we don't have much time. So we've got the origami bag, we've got the sunshine tote, that's a new sunshine tote just there, yeah, in that kind of chenille pattern leather, and then we've got the men's collection, which is there. A nice burgundy peekaboo. And a lovely pink one too. So Mark Square, everybody. And there's water today. See everybody's putting on their boots, we just did that. And there is the beautiful St. Mark's Square and the St. Mark's Cathedral and the Cabanini. Let's just zoom back a little bit for you guys. It's a grey day, but it's wonderful. on St. Mark's and everybody's wearing the little orange wellies including us okay that's mine my wellies after all that welly fun let's have a coffee in the wonderful cafe Florian So the designer brand shops are literally next door to St. Mark's Square. So we just passed the ore there. I can see St. Laurent and we've got all of the usual suspects right next to each other. Jimmy Choo, Bulgari. Yep, they're all here. So we've got Christmas window at Louis Vuitton. Okay, 
Wow, loving the sparkle on that block. What a lovely twist bag. That's also a very cute kind of bag. It looks like my little girl, maybe. Very nice. And the cute little Elmas. Oh, they're so adorable. A little bit of a silver sequin with pink and a black and fuchsia type contrast. Yeah, very nice. And there's that, uh, what's it called? Go 14, I think. They've got quite a few of those. Mm, nice. And the luggage. Oh, I would die to have that luggage. Lovely Alma, very nice. I really like that pink, super cute. We've come to the Palazzo Grimani and look at this room. Unbelievable, you guys. The architecture here is just astounding. Wow. Yes, yeah, so we walked from the Palazzo Grimani to the Arsenali. And I would say the Grimani Palazzo is really worth a visit. Go there if you come to Venice. The Arsenali, as you can see, is also really worth it. Stunning. really love that sunset so we thought because it's a bit darker now that we would come back here to St Mark's Square again it's just magical So today I got to experience to wear probably the most unflattering type of footwear you can imagine. And here they are. They are orange and they go all the way to the knee. So you can see they've got elastic at the top and then they've got like a little sole at the bottom. And basically they are waterproofs to put on top of your shoes because we were in St. Mark's Square today and had to wear these. Uh, <laughs> I'll of course insert some footage so you can see what I looked like with these on. Um, yeah, hilarious. Hi guys, we are back at the hotel after a long day walking around Venice. And as you can see, I've got my hair up because I just need a little bit of a rest <laughs> um, with the hair down, basically. It's not often I've got my hair up, so yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. 
and uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just sit down and have a little chat with you guys because um, my husband is going to take a bath and he may be there for hours, who knows. But yes, we have had the most wonderful day in Venice. So it started out being rather windy, rather wet. Um, but then the sun came at the end of the day, which was fantastic. And uh, yeah, we walked and walked and walked. I think I, we did almost 20,000 steps today. Uh, so by the end of our Italy trip, we will have done uh, God knows how many steps. But um, anyway, good to be sitting down now, to be honest. And we started just walking across uh, Venice, went to the fish market. I'll, of course, in, insert footage from that. Um, and then we did a little bit of shopping, um, not a huge amount, because the trip here um, is the luxury in itself, to be honest. So not buying handbags, not buying expensive stuff. Um, I've purchased a couple of little things, but the luxury is the travel and the trip and staying in this absolutely beautiful hotel that we're in. And um, <laughs> anyway, so, but my husband did buy a little something from uh, Hard Rock Cafe because he collects these little uh, hard rock cafe guitars. And uh, yep, there is also going to be a little bit of footage from kind of the luxury street of Venice. Um, past Fendi, Dior, you know, a few of our famous brands. Uh, so that will be a little bit of a, some clips for you about that. Um, yeah, and then of course we spent quite a bit of time in St. Mark's Square, sat down at the Florian, had coffee, uh, which is always wonderful, but crazy expensive. Uh, the coffee, this is quite funny actually, the coffee has gone from €1.90 uh, in Rapello <laughs> to, I think it was €12.50. 50 in St. Mark's Square. Yeah, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, I think in, yeah, I think in Florence, when we were sitting in the uh, Piazza Signoria, Signoria? Hmm, something like that, uh, which is quite a touristic type piazza. Um, we paid something like five euros 50 for a cup of coffee so but anyway very expensive certainly more expensive than um, london that's for sure yeah so uh, then we had a fabulous lunch the most wonderful lunch um and it was to celebrate my husband's birthday it was the most beautiful beautiful food um fish we had fish and fish and fish and it was just so stunning um yeah and it's a restaurant that we had actually seen on the tv which was um shown in a documentary with a british chef called angela hartnett and uh, we had noted down the restaurant because she said that it was absolutely fantastic and absolutely right. Wonderful, the most wonderful food. When we come back to Venice, which we will, uh, we're definitely going to go back there. Uh, the food is wonderful. I'll put the name below so you know what it is. And uh, after that, we did more walking. We went to the Arsenal, which is where all the naval stuff is walked back along the Grand Canal, took some beautiful photos and watched the sunset go down, very nice. Uh, and then back to St. Mark's Square to get a few other 
photos and a bit more footage of um, St. Mark's uh, Basilica in the kind of the darkness because the the gold on the basilica absolutely shines when it's a bit darker so yeah fantastic and then we walked a bit more sat down because our leg was <laughs> killing us uh, had another coffee uh, a bit more reasonable and uh, walk 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 and now we're back in the hotel so we are knackered but it's a nice way to be tired when you feel you've had a fantastic day with the most amazing amazing experiences oh yeah we also went to this beautiful palace called the yeah i've forgotten the name now anyway i will put it down below beautiful palace i think it was Grimani, Grimaldi. Mm. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, the, the architecture and the way that the ceilings were and everything was just astounding. Um, I will insert footage, of course. So anyway, so I'm now going to relax. Um, maybe look through photos, maybe look through video, maybe do a little bit of editing. Who knows? So, wonderful day in Venice. And a little look at Gucci. Yes, the Jackie bag. What do we think of the Jackie bag, you guys? I like it, but I'm not sure I would ever buy one. What do you guys think? And then we passed Dolce and Gabbana and their shop, let me tell you, I hope you can see from the footage here how stunning this shop is. I think maybe this is one of the most spectacular shops in Venice in terms of the designer shops. Absolutely incredible. To be honest, you guys, I'm just looking at the ceiling here <laughs> and the chandelier. Yeah, the handbags and the shoes and everything's pales in comparison. Is this little chair inspired by the Doge's chair, I wonder? I think so. Morning, guys. Just sitting down for breakfast and look at this lovely view out to the courtyard. Time for breakfast. Sided on the scrambled eggs, and they give you a little bit of vegetable on the side and some fruit. Doesn't that just look delicious? Look at these stunning, stunning handbags, you guys. Look at that sparkle, aren't they just the perfect evening bags? And the slight quirkiness of the design here, absolutely love them. And they were being promoted by a hotel in Venice. And then when we were walking the streets of Venice, I saw their actual shop. Oh my Lord, these Frigoli handbags are just pieces of art so yeah i will link their shop below check them out i know we are all handbag lovers here and these guys have got something really unique and special
I am in heaven. I can only say it. I am literally in heaven. I love Venice. Good morning, guys. It's another day in Venice and we are just sitting having a little coffee because we've done a bit of art. We've been to Savricino, which is a beautiful palace which um, has got lots and lots of artworks. And uh, yeah, we've just finished that. So it was time for a little coffee and we found this spot right next to the Grand Canal, literally on the water. What do you guys think? Isn't this just heavenly? Just, it's heaven. It's heaven on earth. And here are some views across Venice, looking down at St. Mark's Square, and then right across Venice, out to the horizon. Beautiful. It's getting a bit darker now. Yeah, magical. Hello again, guys. So I'm just sitting here in St. Mark's Square now, listening to the music. I hope you can hear it. I'm going to have a little drink because my husband has gone up into the tower uh, and I've visited that once so I don't feel I've got a need to go up there again. But the sun is out and it's just lovely sitting here in this beautiful square. The water is receding, there's still a little bit of water but at least the sun is shining. And here's my drink. It's called a puccini, a little crisp, a little olive, and the view. Bellissima! The music's playing, and with Venice, the sun is shining. Fabulous. must do when you're in Venice is get lost. Literally, just get lost. Good morning, guys. It's our last day in Venice. It is with a heavy heart that I filmed this little video, which will be the end of my Italian vlogs. We've had the most fantastic time. So we are just spending a bit of time wandering around Venice now uh, and trying to get lost again, <laughs> which is really easily done in this beautiful city here. Uh, we wish we had another couple of days, but Celavi, right? You have to go home to work and do all of that so we can come back uh, essentially. But it has been a fantastic time. You can see it's blue sky today, it rained overnight, and we've just had the most wonderful time. It's been a bit of a luxury break for us. Uh, we feel refreshed, <laughs> and it's just been wonderful and we would highly recommend the hotel that we've stayed in this time uh, called Palazzo Venart. So if you're going to Venice, check it out. Uh, we also love the Bauer but it's being restored at the moment so maybe we'll go there once it's restored in a couple of uh, years time. We shall see. Um, but this is it for our little Italian adventure finishing off in Venice. So all there is to say is ciao, buongiorno, have a wonderful day, have a fabulous day, wherever you are. And of course, if you're enjoying my little vlogs, shopping vlogs, luxury vlogs, unboxings, little travel, then please hit that little notification bell. It means the world to a small content creator 
I'm just trying to grow my channel and I can't do it without you. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a fabulous day and see you in my next one, which will be a normal shopping vlog from London town. Ciao. Bye bye. Until next time, we'll see you again soon.